what's going on y'all what's going on what's going on listen i'm back with yet another video those of you who are already subscribed you already know what it is for those of you who are tuning in for the first time welcome what you can find here are talks about maca maca root to be exact how to gain slash maintain weight product reviews skincare hacks skincare product reviews how to grow longer hair specifically 4c hair and protective styles for 4c hair just how to glow the heck up in general amongst other topics all right let's get into now, it. let me say this what god has for you it is for you what god has for me it is for me and i know it sounds cliche but although you may come across some roadblocks some speed bumps God's got you. And what I say to God is, Lord, please carry me and don't drop me. Let me say it one more time. Carry me and don't drop me. But things will happen and you'll question what is going on. People will not always wish the best for you and pray for your downfall. But God's got it. Now let's really get into it. I'm wearing on my eyes the mascara the lipstick the lip gloss they are my own i'm not wearing any eyeliner today but the eyeliner is also on point no pun intended and there of course is always a sale going on the color that i'm wearing is whipped cream and it's like a soft baby pink slash orangish color but all, honestly it comes out of like a light pink color as you can see it almost has like a nude or natural finish pink to it which is what i like and I just think it's very good for many a complexion. And let me put some more on. Like a soft pink color. It's not as bright of a pink as the Pum Pum pink color, but it's just like a soft pink color, which I really do love. Like I said, there's a slight orange tint to it, but I love it. And it's called whipped cream and it does go on very soft smooth moisturizing so there's that the mascara i love because it goes on very dark and it really does lengthen and volumize and it has collagen now for those of you who don't know as we get older collagen is something that we lose more and more of but collagen is what gives us an overall youthful glow and it promotes skin hair all of those things so this mascara actually helps lengthen and volumize my lashes and I absolutely love it. Another thing when I wash my face, it's almost as though it just comes off with ease. It doesn't leave like a whole bunch of dark under eye area and whatnot. I absolutely love it if I do say so myself. Here's that, check it out, modestylavishstore.com. Now, African black soap, as many of you know and probably use yourself. It truly is an amazing soap. I can't even knock it. Originating in West Africa, depending on what region, the ingredients may vary, but usually they combine it with coconut oil, other natural oils. It's a natural soap and it is good for an overall glow to get rid of oiliness and to basically give your skin what it needs. I do think that it is a very good product and if you are going to get African black soap what you want to do is get African black soap straight up from Africa if you can as opposed to getting it here in the United States or made here. If you can get it straight up from somewhere in Africa, West Africa, straight up from an African person, that's what you want to do. Now the Kojic Acid Ultimate Illuminating Bar is also a great soap and has essential oils, natural oils. The thing that takes it up a notch is that it has the glycolic acid and the kojic acid. And those two things are very good for dealing with acne, for fading dark marks. But not only that, it has lemon and orange, which actually helps to, essential oils, which actually help to fade the dark marks even more and also give you an overall glow and as opposed to the african black soap the kojic acid ultimate illuminating bar the real 
kojic acid ultimate illuminating bar has a citrus scent but it's not an artificial scent again it's coming from organic essential oils and it looks like this a little bit does go a long way hmm. both african black soap and the kojic acid ultimate illuminating bar for those with sensitive sensitive skin it may be a bit drying so it with anything it's good to patch test first but to combat the drying effect this has both shea and oatmeal and if you don't know both plump and hydrate the skin moisturize the skin so it combats the dryness that you would get with just a regular kojic acid bar or another soap bar i do really think that both are great though you just want to make sure that you are getting something that has great ingredients in it and not a lot of preservatives or crazy ones or toxic ingredients again if you can prevent it i always say that that is how i feel about that but honestly you're good to go with either there is always a sale and if you buy this you also get a free gift with the purchase if you'd like me to do more of these comparison videos i most definitely will i actually have some on the way i just want to say that when it comes to skin i've said it before if you err on the side of using more natural oils and not believe it or not buying a bunch of like high and costly things that have like a lot of ingredients or unnecessary preservatives in them you're actually better when you use less on your face i don't wear makeup every day i haven't worn makeup in a minute when i do put it on to come say hi to y'all or whatever if i feel like it or to step off i then wash it off again with something that is not very very harsh and does not have a lot of chemicals in it if i can prevent that is what I recommend. The sea moss has been working wonders for me if you can't tell. Right now I don't have any crazy breakout and just consuming water and putting on your face something that does not have a lot of harsh ingredients is the way to go. I am wearing Tarte foundation. I absolutely swear by it. I am wearing Tarte concealer. I absolutely swear by it. I've tried a lot of things and let me tell you something this is the truth and the thing about tart is that they don't use a lot of harsh ingredients they are vegan and cruelty free so when it comes to things that i use on my lips and my eyes i use my own my own things when it comes to foundation and concealer i use tart and when it comes to facial cleansers now i've just been more on using very natural products whether it be the maca bar or sea moss or different oils that are all natural jojoba you know your essential oils this does not have coconut oil a lot of african black soaps do but again you want to just err on the side of caution patch test and make sure that you can tolerate whatever it is and if you see that your skin is getting really dry with the use of any product then just use less of it or just use it less often as well or both so that is a brief summary of the comparisons i will most definitely be back with more i will be redoing my hair so i will be taking these out showing you what my hair is looking like and then I'm putting braids right back in because that is the best way for my hair to grow. But if you feel so inclined, I do ask that you please like, comment, share, subscribe, hit the bell for notifications so you don't miss when I post. I will be posting like crazy because it's not a game, okay? And I have a lot to tell you. I have a lot to share with you all. So you're gonna wanna stay tuned in, but I appreciate you. Thanks for tuning in. Please subscribe to the socials, both YCC1 and Modesty Lavish. TikTok, all of that. I'm trying to build it all up, y'all. Thanks for tuning in. And I'll holla. Gang, gang. This, y'all, is the truth. Mm-hmm.